I wonder if as you sat here, you could pause for a moment and could take and could write down a dream that you have. God's given people all through history dreams of what they could do. It involves divine power and it involves divine purpose. Pastor Larry, hey, hey, I have a question. I have yeah, a question. Ryan and I have been talking. We have a question for you. This is what the church is really about, folks. Amen. In a dream I was having, me and your grandson Drew and Jordan, we were driving down the street and then we see a 7 Eleven. So, we're like, okay, let's get some Slurpees. So, we pull in and then we got some Slurpees. But we also got scratchers. Not that we would ever gamble in real life because obviously gambling is a huge sin, the biggest sin of all. And then we leave, we, you know, we won some money. We we're planning on giving it to Global Harvest. And then we're driving down the street and then all of a sudden we end up in Ranger Cucamonga. One of those Cucamonga dreamers. What does the dream mean? The dream becomes the seed that blooms in God's garden. Okay. A war that started in a beautiful garden. A war? I, I don't want to die. Well, I wouldn't want to die there. I don't want to die anywhere. I don't get it. Retire, buddy. Enjoy life. Go get a house on the beach. I don't have the money to retire. Can maybe you help me? Man, I don't have nothing. I'm broke. Um, maybe we can do a fundraiser? We only got six or seven hundred bucks. I think I can make that work. Sweet. I can retire in my 20s. It's a lot different when you're in your 20s. <laughs> Pastor Larry, I have a question. Amen. Well, like, I feel like I have a lot of vision for like the organizations I'm involved in, my church. Um, you know, like, I feel like I have like all this vision for everyone else, but I, I really don't know what like I want. You know? You can be anything you want to be. Yeah, but I don't know what that is. You can be anything you want to be. Right. I get that, but I don't, I don't know what I want to be. You can be anything you want to be. So let's say I wanted to be a cherry farmer and make um, pies for all the town folk to enjoy and bring joy to the world through cherry pies. Uh, plan it. You got to get a book before the middle of this month. How do I even go about that? Don't worry about how. But Don't worry about how. All right. Now, of course, that's easy for me to say now that I'm an old man. <laughs> Pastor Larry, hey, I have another question. Do you think I can make a career out of male modeling? You're still short here. I'm still a growing boy. You're a little tiny skinny guy. Ain't gonna happen. Well, first of all, thank you for that. I have been working out, but I thought you said I can do anything I want to do. Ask this young lady down here. She'll say you're an old man. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the to the doctors over here in Hollywood and change it if you want. Uh, what doctor can do that? Dr. Martin Luther King. So what's he gonna do? To extend to its fullness, to enlarge, to make fat. Can can you physically do that? It's in our DNA. Okay, Pastor Larry, what would you say some of your negatives would be in accomplishing your dreams? The worst words you can use, the most profane word you can use is. Disneyland. Disneyland? But Mickey Mouse popped out of my mind on a drawing pad 20 years ago on a train ride. What did he say? Can't 99% of the church support 1%? I didn't know Mickey Mouse knew about church economics. Smartest man in the world, they say. Really? Mickey Mouse? Unlock the door. Now, is this a metaphorical door? Pastor Larry, can you give us one example of someone who's like a modern day dreamer? The million dollar man. Former professional wrestler Ted DiBiase. The world is a different place because of that man's dream. Anything else you want to say? He wants to come at you and paint the worst scenario. scenario. He wants you to believe there's no help. That's what God's about. Are you feeling all right? I just feel good. Okay. <laughs> Just appreciate you being here. Thank you for taking the time to answer our questions. Um, more confused than ever, but it was nice. Some good things. Really? But we're going to be competition for the Lakers.